My name is Larry Gregory. I am a software support engineer at IBM. Today I am looking at the preventive maintenance in Maximo 7.5. After watching this video, you will be able to do the following. View and create preventive maintenance records and master PMs. Identify the fields that cascade from a master PM and stop modifications cascading into individual PMs. So let's look at one preventive maintenance record. So these are the details that constitute a preventive maintenance record. If we look at what could be modified, so let's see if in frequency here we have a value of 90 for example and job plan sequence we have one record entered so we're looking at what of these fields could be modified so for the preventive maintenance let's associate it with a master preventive maintenance and save it so now let's go to the preventive master and see what it has. So these are the fields that have a master PM. For frequency in this case, we have 110. And for job plant sequence, we had three values instead of one that we had in the other record. So if we decide to update the PMs associated. So let's update them. I have set them all up in Bedford. Okay. And we save it. So now if we go back to the record and see. So look at the frequency again, and we now have 110 instead of 90. And the job plan has now three records instead of the one that we had earlier. So that is the cascade effect from the master to the preventive maintenance. Now, however, from all these fields, what if you wanted to understand which ones um, would be passed on and which ones do not get passed on. So if we go back to the master PM records and we create a new one, we're able to see for frequency we have update existing PMs. So for as long as this is ticked, the fields underneath it would be updated in this screen. Seasonal dates here would also apply, update existing, and job plan sequence also has update job plan sequence, existing PMs. Now what's interesting is that the front screen, the master PM, does not have it, and therefore these records that are here constitute the unique details of a master PM and would not be passed on and transferred. Now if we look at it the other way around and we decide to identify in a single preventive maintenance that we don't actually want the cascade effect. So then here we can see override updates from a master PM. For as long as this is ticked then a master PM could update all the records associated with it, except this one will be skipped and it would not have those values added and modified. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much.